Okay, real quick. I got the bracket all done. I TIG welded this little brace in the back. All right, now I'm mocking up um, the shaft and the distance I'm going to need, probably almost two inches here. I have to machine a, a shaft for a tang. The only problem is I need to move this whole assembly up a little bit. I got to shim it on the bottom. However, the nuts on the downside here are hitting the main bracket. So again, I have to get a 3 sixteenths um, screws that are counter countersunk and I'll countersink them from the bottom and just come up and put nuts on here. I cut the bracket down a little bit just for, you know, so it doesn't stick so, look stupid and stick up so high. Not that anybody's going to see it. Here's a shaft I started machining. I machined a flat on it that's going to fit into this guy here. Um, it's half inch, but all I had was like a 5 8 piece of round of, of uh, shaft material, which is no big deal when you have a lathe and a mill, which I couldn't do any of this stuff without that and a TIG welder as well. So hopefully I'll be done in a couple days because I have to order some or get some screws and um, tomorrow's a full day of work and so is Tuesday but maybe Wednesday I'll try to the first I'll try to finish this off and hopefully you can hear a quieter pump because this thing is driving me crazy when I was welding with the uh, air, cool, air cooled torch before it was really nice without that huge humming noise in your ear but I was TIG welding so it was a little bit of a buzzing and then the final thing I got to do is I got to get some fittings and I need to come up come up and loop around a little bit and come in to this one this is the in and this is the out so I'll get a street elbow or something here and then come out with the, another the left-handed thread for the for the TIG cooler for the fitting for the left-handed fitting for the TIG torch so all in all I got a lot done it's taken a long time but again you have to make do what you have in in your parts bin or your your um, scrap bin laying around it's the weekend and you know even the steel supplier is not going to have a piece of square aluminum that big because I could have made a whole piece out of a piece of square tubing thick wall looks like quarter inch and made it that way and just machined it but just a little bit of TIG welding and a little bit of machining and you have the radius there so all in all it came out pretty good hopefully it'll work good thanks